Hey, welcome to Love Two Magnets Review the Channel the Review. I'm here with my buddy Gor Gregoro. That's me. And uh, Zavul, who is audio only due to the fact that his camera flips out. Uh he you know, becomes he, disco Zavul. He becomes disco Jesus Zavul. Christ, it, it's fucking amazing. I, I, I either need to fix this thing or just get something that isn't built into my laptop. Maybe. Well, I don't know. well maybe those are cheaper now. I, I know it was expensive when I got mine, and it's not like a yeah. must-have thing. Unless, you know, people demand to see your pretty face. Um, but anyway, so, you know, this is obviously super late. I was going to do, like, and, you know, it's so late that, the you know, chapters misspelled wrong. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but whatever, you know. That's I, how. That's how you can tell it's really late. Yeah. So we're, we're here to talk about One Piece chapter eight eight one. No chapter this week. Uh, our delayed one from uh, because I was at New York Comic Con and I didn't force anyone to like review it with me. So guys, what did you think of the green room? That was really cool. That Jim Bay like used uh, this, the the uh, Thousand Sunny as a like a surfboard. Oh man, I'm I'm so excited. I like I, I was wondering what what Jinbei's position on the ship would be aside from just fish. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I completely a forgot they expert. needed a helmsman because usually what is it like Usopp or uh, Frankie, Frankie gets kind of stuck doing it. Um, but it, it it's nice to know that they might actually have someone competent. So it, it'd be interesting to see how much they use that. Well, it was nice to... It's definitely better to, like, have him have, like, a more articulated position. Because, you know, I've, I've talked before about how, like, One Piece feels really, really distant from anything that's, like, legitimate pirate lore. So to have something that actually feels like real-world pirate stuff is always a nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you know, to have, like... like I, I was, like, amazed when I, like, read about the green room. and Holy shit, the green room is actually something real. That's like a surfing term. Considering the space in between waves when they crash, <coughs> so I was definitely pleased to, um, you know, see this like little real world piece of sea knowledge come into play in One Piece. And now Jimbei is not just like the fish guy who beats people up and supersedes Luffy's importance. <laughs> um, he's actually has like a defined purpose, you know, in the crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and a fairly important one, at least on like standard kind of like ship um hierarchy and can he just also summon fish as well he he summoned like giant whales to like escape yeah he can summon the... like giant murder whales yeah yeah he's a pretty pretty versatile guy pretty pretty good guy and i guess like i wouldn't want say... that guy in my pirate crew honestly you can no, pretty much Oops, sorry. Uh, the question is, is, is Carrot going to join the crew, too? And what the fuck is she going to do? No, 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 She's going to no, be an no, expert no, at no, carrots and, no, like, furries. No, 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 no. Yes. I, I know people, <laughs> like, want a female straw hat. And, and you know what? That'd be great. Oda can go get one, just not Carrot. She, she doesn't serve any purpose. <laughs> Come on, she 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 she's, she could be a cabin boy. We don't need a cabin boy. We don't need a cabin carrot. What, what the fuck is Brooke's purpose? Don't you need a cabin Brooke's entire purpose is to play the guitar and ask for panties. Well, he plays okay? music. He provides morale. He does pirate no, shanties. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He, he plays up, music. Provides morale with his constant fucking stupid goddamn impressions and pl and forcing Zoro to play tag. <laughs> Just saying, if, if 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 we can have Brooke on board, whose entire purpose is terrible songs, we we, Wait, we what, can... are you, what are you talking about? His songs are great. The Bing Saki is an old timer. Uh, he, he gives he gives legitimate pirate shanties. That, that was not something he wrote. So we fuck that. Well, he, he he was not meant to. Remember, we're trying to do Google sense. So flab flabbergasting. Who knows? Maybe I'll right. I'll put like right. maybe right. I'll put like okay. Um, okay. things over that. <laughs> oh God damn it! Oh. And I did it again. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's let's just so let's talk about Dog Tooth. I'm pretty sure he can't make me curse. <laughs> um, this is a really great fight between uh, Luffy and Dog Tooth. I think so. Far. Yeah, I am. I am slightly baffled by the fact that he seems to. Is he making a mochi mochi spear, or is he? Does he hide weapons in his body? What the 
fuck is going on there? I think, dang it, Scott! I, I think he's... I, and I, I did it again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I just, Remember, this is the hardest thing you've ever done in your it whole is. life. It is. You have no idea. <laughs> I, I love cursing. Even I've restricted myself in the past few videos. I'm trying. <laughs> trying. <laughs> the Google AdSense demands that all things be sanitized to the level where we are just, like, on par with the content of, like, people dressing up as Elsa and Spider-Man and running around pretending to be pregnant for little children. What? Greg, remember that video I showed you? I don't, let's not get on this tangent. It's uh, creepy, and I don't okay. think we'll go there. <laughs> we can explain this later. No, no but... we don't. We don't <laughs> explain this. You should explain it in a video <laughs> essay. I already explained it to you, Greg. No, but you should actually explain it in a video essay. I don't know. It's, 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 it's... <laughs> so anyway. But yeah, I think... Dogtooth, he, like, hides weapons in his mochi, I think. That's what it is. Yeah, that, that makes sense to me. You, you could say that, like, he's, like, not only is he Luffy, but he's also Clayface. Yeah, that's a good question. Can he disguise himself? Um, Maybe? We, we, I mean, that would so, be awesome. That's, that's, like, an advanced level of, like, using your devil fruit powers, I think. You know, if, like, the cracker guy can, like, generate enough crackers and biscuits to, like, have sentient warriors that can repel Luffy's gear for, then, you know, why can't uh, Dogtooth change his appearance? Yeah, I mean, he's basically Clayface at this point. Man, I wonder if he could split himself in half and make, like, little Moshi, mochi hey, clothes. Did we, just, <laughs> did we just eat Moshi, by the way? Yes, we did. We ate Mochi. We ate Mochi uh, oh, ice cream. Oh my god, how appropriate. So, basically, Dogtooth has, like, an ice cream inside. No, he doesn't. The mochi is like no, the, the, the mochi. God, it's like the material outside is mochi. Thing. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's just like the outside skin of mochi. Yeah. Why don't they? Just... Or you can like have like or the things where they like stuff with red beans or peanut butter or other sweets. So he he could be stuffed with something then, right? No, I, I think he's just a pure mochi man. I don't think like, like you can have like just plain mochi. It's like a very oh. versatile material. It's, it's fun. It's it's fun to eat, as you learned. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's it actually tastes really good. That's probably one of the first times I had mochi. Mochi. It, it, however it, you say it, it. It is like one of my favorite Japanese snacks. It, it is really good. Um, but yeah, the, the fight is like uh, you know I definitely love the desperation, and then now Luffy's like you know just all the mirrors are destroyed, so the ship won't be blown up. And yeah, they're coming up with the plan like how to meet up, and everyone thinks that the the Straw Hat Pirate Crew is dead. Well, I'm a little bit curious about Luffy, how, like... Luffy, like, actually ate, like, mirror glass. <laughs> like, just that, just to keep it away. It feels like... It's starting to feel like, you know, one of those desperate fights we had, like, pre... Uh, Pre-time jump? Pre-time pre skip. Because, yeah, I think they bit off way more than they can chew, and they're kind of dealing with that now. Yeah, yeah. I, I do... Uh, that's one thing I've been liking about these last few chapters, is, like, how desperate it is and how completely outclassed so this is like a sense of desperation we haven't seen in a while yeah oh yeah a long while it's been a long time coming yeah, i think they got complacent and then just ran face first into something horrifying yeah which which, which is great and they, they got a little too easy oh sure Dolph Flamingo was <coughs> his family was pretty much easily taken down and Dolph Flamingo himself just required a little extra punching but now they're hitting that brick wall of the real world well, the question, though, is if, like, you know, they think the Straw Hats are dead, doesn't that mean that, like, Big Mom has to eat her children now because she thinks the wedding cake is gone? God, I hope so. I just really want some cannibalism out of this. Yeah, me too. I, I was, like, I, I still think that that best ending would of this would have been she her eating all of her family except for maybe, like, Dogtooth and, you know, Smoothie, and then that's how the Big Mom pirates meet their end. Yeah. That would have been pretty poetic, but uh, I guess it feels, it now feels like he's in a sense, it may be like he's kind of stretching this arc a bit. Does, oh, he, it, he, he's, he's like definitely that? been stre stretching this arc yeah. a little bit. Uh, I, I definitely want it to be over. Like yeah, I mean, character. I think they're, they're getting close to... Uh, <laughs> they're, they're already really close to the um, the anime, so... you got to stretch that. I've always wondered why they just don't run the uh, meanwhiles uh, that Oda does... What do you mean? In place oh, of filler. Yeah, they, they did that once for, like, Buggy. They gave him a few episodes. Yeah, that was great. I, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most fun I've had with filler since Navarone, which was 
I mean, still based on the filler that Oda ran, except they, they swapped out Ace for the Straw Hats. I, I, just a question, though. Why? I don't... I mean, maybe not so much of a question, but I don't feel like Oda should... I mean, let the anime influence, like, the way he tells his story at all. Well, no, but it would just be a better way of running the anime. It's like, Oda gives you all these, like, great side arcs in, like, the cover pages. Like, you know, turn those into anime material. Yeah, but, like, I don't believe, like, he's, <coughs> like, that he should be stretching it for the sake of the anime. I, I mean, I, I hope that's not the case. I, I don't think he's stretching it for the sake of the anime. I feel like he, like, if anything, it's in his best interests to end this arc as soon as possible. So the anime yeah. can, like, start constructing a filler arc. A nice, long filler arc. So he can build more buffer. But then again, you know, it, Dragon Ball Z at its height uh, was, like, ten ch- only ten chapters ahead of the anime. Hmm. Which is why, um, you know, the series was so infamous for its horrendous pacing. Although I, I don't necessarily know how, like, you know, you run a production like that when you're only ten chapters behind. But they, I don't know. They, they somehow managed it. Um, but yeah, it was definitely, like, a, a solid chapter. It's nice to see that, like, Jimbei has a purpose. I still don't think Carrot, like, when did you get on the Carrot Straw Hat tr- 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 crew? She's uh, cute. Got both of you? She, what? I, I, I happen to like her. She's entertaining, about as entertaining as, um... Uh, I found Brooke to be anyway, uh, and she's actually like a halfway decent fighter, so I, I, I think I'm, that would be a good addition. I, I, like, if Vivi's not getting on the straw hats, then why does Carrot deserve, like, you know, straw hat? Don't I mean, she, she doesn't have a country to run, so, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's. And she's, I think Carrot's character is, like, charmingly simple, like, in a, in a sense. Compared to Vivi, she's got, like, a whole. You know, a whole big burden of like, oh, I gotta, you know, protect my country. I gotta fight this. We gotta stop the civil war from happening within the country. There's a lot of, you know, Vivi's got already got a lot on her plate. She can't go up, out adventuring with pirates while she's got that much yeah, uh, I mean, baggage. Yeah, I mean, Carrot has already expressed interest in like sneaking aboard and joining. So, I don't know. I don't see why not. Yeah. I don't know. I, I just feel like there's. She needs a tragic backstory. She needs. She, she she needs a little bit more. You think she needs a tragic backstory? I don't. Every know. straw hat has a tragic backstory. I don't know. I, I I mean, yes, so far. Except for I guess Jimmy technically doesn't, as far as we know. I mean, he was on the Sun Pirate crew, so <laughs> yeah. he probably does. Fish, um, Fisher Tiger. True, um, but we don't know if Jimbe was a slave. No, but Jimbe was a part of that crew, and he saw you know the horrible things that they did to like. The slaves, like, from... but that doesn't mean they did horrible things to Jimbe. Yeah, but you know, his I, again, captain died I, I'm, tragically. I'm willing to bet he was. I'm just <laughs> willing to bet he was. All right. Well, it, it's nice though that Jimbe has like a more official, and th- this feels like the biggest, even more than Luffy offering him like an official position in a straw hat. Him actually doing like a nautical thing is like the biggest thing you could ask for for like a. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, so I think that about covers it for this chapter as we impatiently wait for Oda to um, get to the next one. What, what would you guys rate this one? Yeah. Um, you know what? I'm 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 gonna give this as like I'm gonna give this like a nine. I actually really enjoyed this. <laughs> really, uh, the, the panicky desperation and the fact that Jinbei actually has um, something legitimate to do on the Straw Hat crew that 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 kind of tickled me a little bit. Yeah, and it did feel like out of all the sort of you know, save the Straw Hats ass pull, uh, butt pulls <laughs> that um, Oda could have done. Um, this was, like, the most smart and well-thought-out thing he could have done. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, this felt like the most earned. It didn't feel like complete BS. Oh, that's, the, you know, oh, the power of friendship somehow convinces Big Mom, or they do another Coda Burst, or, or something else. Yeah. Um... I mean, I I enjoyed this chapter, especially, like, you know, the green room thing and Luffy eating the mirror, like, uh, you know, them, like, secretly trying to plan out, execute their, the Straw Hats plan. It does feel like this arc is dragging a little bit. It, it's been dragging for a while. Like, like, like I definitely do want a, a yeah. more definitive end, but so, so go on with your score. Yeah, so, 
And because it's dragging on, I'm going to have to get a slightly lower score. I'm going to give it uh, maybe a an 8. That's fair. I, I think I'm leaning more towards an 8. I, I did like the green room stuff. I just wish the Luffy dog tooth fight had a little bit more momentum. I'm kind of like... <clears throat> we've gotten a lot of, like, you know, Dogtooth, like, owning Luffy, and now it's time to see Luffy, like, what he does for his counterattack or what he does to compete. So, like, I, I, I want to see, like, the main meat of that fight. I don't want to see, like, Luffy running away anymore. But hopefully it looks like we're going to get that. And, you know, I, I just want to see that resolved. Yeah. Since Dogtooth is, like, becoming, like, the final boss of this arc. All right, so what are we sell shilling here? Um, How about surfing? Yeah, Kevin? yeah, surfboards make yeah, okay. more sense. Um, okay. Oh my god. We should, we should chill Surf and Bird. <laughs> what? The, the, the <laughs> album? Surf and Bird? From the car, yeah, the album. Um, let me see if they. I wonder if there's, there's a single or what. You mean the bird, bird, bird. Bird is. is yeah, it, yeah. Is, <laughs> but does that bird surf? I thought it was just bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. Radical, dude. Okay. <laughs> May, maybe not the best one. All right. Well, how, surfboards. Who, who, who doesn't like surfboards? Hey, wait, on. wait, wait. We gotta, we gotta I, do this. We, 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 there gotta be something better here. How about the Beach Boys? <laughs> Why the Beach Boys? I, I don't know. It, it, it's surf It's surf rock. Okay, fine, fine, yeah. fine. So, like, you know, because Jim Bay oh, is the ultimate what is surfer. What's that song that goes like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Wipeout! Wipe out. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is literally the name of the song. I, yeah. I almost cursed at you. <laughs> <laughs> you almost flarped. You almost said flarp. God flarping, darn it. Um, okay, so Wipeout. Uh, 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 Wipeout, Beach Boys, get your surfing music, get your surfing groove on. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, go surf with One Piece and Jimbe as the king of the surfers. Um, with this music down there, or buy something you actually do want in Amazon. Okay. So, thank you for l putting up with our misspelled chapter, and thank you for your time. <laughs> Send me comments, and yep. remember, lobsters and tennis, but don't you grab it. Lobsters and tennis, but don't you grab it.